How you start your morning matters so much. I want you to start your morning on fire every single day. And if you do that, you will be able to come into your life in a way that you're bringing vitality and you are thriving. And rather than just reacting to what happens to you, you're being super intentional about the day that you're choosing to have. So listen on, this is gonna be a shorter video with five tips to make sure that you are starting your, your mornings off right. So I'm playing around with a little uh, a new, different concept. So I will do, because you guys know I can go on forever and ever and ever, and I'm super excited about this stuff. I've been studying it for years and years and years, and I'm super excited to be sharing it with you. And I know you don't always have 30 minutes to sit there, so we're gonna do this, you know, a short video and then the longer video. So if you want the longer content, you can go to the other video uh, that will be posted on my page. All right, so today we're gonna be going through five things that you can do to make sure that you have a badass morning. Your morning is absolutely critical. So I have an entire routine, you know, you can call it your hour of power, your morning routine, whatever name you wanna give it. I want you to start off your day purposefully I want you to start on fire and I want that fire to run through the rest of your day and that will help you create an intentional life, a purposeful life where you are living life on your own terms. So how does that sound? So to make sure that that happens, we're going to do a few things. The first thing that is absolutely critical is what is called priming. So priming is making sure that you set your mindset. Your focus in terms of where you're paying attention, you set that straight at the beginning of the day. So you can do that in multiple ways. So some ways that I've done priming and my priming routine has changed, you know, through throughout the years I've been doing a morning routine for about three years. It's absolutely changed my life. I really recommend it for you. So things that you can do is you can have flashcards and so you can do what are called incantations. An incantation is different from an affirmation. An affirmation, you just have like the words like, I am beautiful. I am worthy, but with uh, with an incantation, you bring feeling and emotion and movement if you can into it. You stand up, you, you put yourself in state. So I am powerful. So you can do your incantations, get your flashcards. Uh, you can go do your workout and listen to music that's going to bring out that feeling in you. That's going to uh, put you in a different state. You can do the chief definite aim. Listen to the other video if you want to learn more about that. Uh, that's just a statement that you've written down and you read every single morning in terms of who you want, want to be in the world and how you want to show up in the sort of life that you want to have. Uh, something else that you can do are visualizations. Visualization is absolutely so powerful. Olympians do this. Uh, you know, the best of the best visualize and I want you to be the best of the best. So I want you to visualize. And so you can also listen to motivational videos, motivational soundtracks all to make sure that you are not just reacting to the world and showing up and being influenced by everything that's happening around you, but you are being purposeful about how you are showing up for your day and that you are designing your day. So one thing you can do, visualize the sort of day that you want to have, visualize the year, visualize your life, and do so with feeling. And I do, uh, do that by bringing in music. So, numero dos, move your body. I want you to sweat, I want you to move with an increased heartbeat, for at least 45 minutes, five times a week. Moving your body is so healthy for you for so many reasons. It's good for your brain, it's good for your mood. You're gonna start the day off feeling accomplished. I want you to move your body five times a week, at least 45 minutes, uh, and I wanna see you sweat. So follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, go to my Facebook page, and I wanna see you tagging your sweaty pictures. I also have an accountability group, uh, which I'll link below. Uh, where I'll kick your butt, and if you're not showing up, I will kick you out of the group. But it, I do it with lots of love, and I'm, I, I want you to show up for the best, uh, your best life. I want you to show up for yourself. Third is nourish your body. Be very purposeful about what foods you're bringing into your body. So I start every morning with eating something green, and I hydrate every morning. I have a big old one of these. I don't go anywhere without my water bottle. So I start the morning, sometimes I add a little bit of lime in there uh, for alkalizing purposes. I'll start with something green, maybe like right now that's a little bit chilly, I'll have, you know, uh, bone broth, which is really nourishing. Uh, it's very helpful for my body. And th I'll take a bunch of veggies, add it to the bone broth, and then I sort of throw it in the blender and it's 
doesn't look very sexy, but it's so good for you. So nutrition, something that's gonna make your body thrive versus just eating something that's like a donut in the morning. Please don't have a donut in the morning. It's like the worst thing that you can do. So eat right, uh, supplements you can do. You know, I have a bunch of supplements that I take. Listen to your body. Your body is a genius. Your body is telling you exactly what you need to do. Just listen to this beautiful, you know, temple that we have that's actually speaking to us. If you're in pain, your body's telling you something and you need to pay attention to that. So uh, supplements, uh, you know, think about healthy fats. So like I'll have a little bit of avocado in the morning or Udo's oil to make sure that I have the energy to get me going all day. So that is nourishing your body. Number four, I want you to set up your three to thrive. What's your three to thrive? So every morning, I have three things that absolutely must get done by the end of the day. So that's my three to thrive. I have an accountability, accountability group that I check in with and they will call me out if I'm not doing the things, if I consistently am not, if I'm falling short of my own dreams, of my own goals, uh, I check in with my accountability uh, goal setting group every single day and we've been doing this for about two years. It's incredible. I highly recommend that you be part of, of a mastermind or you get yourself a coach. If you're looking for a coach that's gonna kick your butt and do so very lovingly, come talk to me. I'm taking just a very, very select group of clients right now. Uh, so get yourself some accountability. And if it's just gonna be accountability with yourself, yourself a post-it, get yourself a Trello, whatever system's gonna work for you, and set three things that must be accomplished by the end of the day. And don't cheat yourself. Make sure that that gets done. Uh, three to five. So number five, learning and growing. So there's this thing called net time. Net is no time wasted, no extra time. And so I want you, while you're like doing your morning jogging, while you're you know getting the food ready for the kids, whatever, when you're sort of doing something where you could be learning, use this time to grow your mind, to grow your perspectives, to learn. Every morning, I listen to my coaches, to my mentors, to books, to whatever it might be, so I continue to grow and become the sort of person and live the sort of life that is a person that does not settle and lives their life on their own terms, and I want that for you. And last thing is a bonus. I want you to wake up every morning with a big old smile on your face. So you know, you're like, sleep, open your eyes, and the first thing I can do is I want you to smile. That is going to give a message to your brain. It is going to say, you know, like, look for the positive. I want you to like just wake up and choose. You don't need a reason to have a good day. That you choose to have a good day is a good enough reason. So get out of bed. Smile, then put your running shoes on, put your workout gear, get out that door, kick some butt, get yourself some accomplishments for that morning. Um, do some appreciation, get your gratitude journal, whatever it is, get yourself to focus on positivity. And there we have it, five things that you can do to make sure that you're starting every single morning on point, that you're on fire, you're living your life on fire, and you are building the life of your dreams. You are not settling, you're stepping up, you're pushing outside of your comfort zone, and you are deciding who it is that you choose to be and how it is that you choose to show up in your life. Because this baby, it's one life, and I want you to live it to the fullest. So subscribe, subscribe, uh, like my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram if you want some like coaching, uh, you know, some pictures also definitely connect with me there. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for a badass coach that is going to get you some results, that's gonna get you to show up to life in the way that you are excited to show up. And if you're tired of settling, if you know that you want more, if you, you know that you can be and do more for yourself for the life of your dreams, come talk to me. I definitely can help. So I love you so much. I want you to live the life that you see for yourself and I know that you are taking the steps to do that. So go have an incredible day and I'll catch you next week.